Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is my second video now. Uh, we just got all of our gold extracted and got a nice, beautiful bar of gold out of that. So, on this video I'm going to be showing you how to get all of your silver out of solution. Uh, this whole process is actually pretty simple. And we'll start by using our Buckner funnel. It's pretty big. And we're going to filter out our silver solution into this flask right here. And then after that, I'll show you how to get the silver out. All right, let's get started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I got these really large coffee filters and I'm gonna put two of them into the Buckner funnel. good and wet just so it forms to the actual funnel itself. That'll break everything. Oh. So we've definitely gotten all the nitric acid out of there. Uh, we still have some undissolved silver in there. So we're just going to pour this out now and just get any kind of solids out of there. Okay, so we got everything filtered out, and uh, I almost messed up, and uh, but luckily this beaker turned out to be perfect. So we're gonna get this poured back into our big beaker now. Okay, so the next part of this process is probably the simplest. Uh, so if you look, this is sort of a simplified version of this chart. But uh, in accordance with the reactivity series of metals, as you see, you have your platinum group metals. So platinum being the least reactive of the metals to gold, silver, mercury, copper. So essentially, since right now we have a bunch of silver in solution right now, we're going to go down, we know there's no mercury in here, so the next one in line is going to be copper. So what we're going to do, we're going to take some pieces of copper, stick them in a jar, and what's going to happen is the silver is going to crystallize onto the copper as the copper itself goes into solution. So essentially the metals are going to trade places. So I'll try to show you that. Uh, throughout the process. Uh, I'm probably going to leave it in there a couple of days just to make sure we get all of our silver cemented out. And you'll see when we're done, silver will end up uh, looking like cement at the bottom of this. So, all right, let's get started. As you can see, that reaction starts happening immediately, and you can see the silver forming, and it's crystallizing under the bottom, and the copper should be going into solution. So we're going to let this sit for a few days. Uh, I'm going to keep it in the fume hood because this is also going to be producing some fumes, and uh, I'll come back to you in a few days.
Okay, this is after about a day, and it looks like the reaction has totally stopped. There's still some copper left, so I think we might have got all the silver cemented out. Uh, you can see there's just a ton of silver down at the bottom, still crystallized on some of the copper. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get this filtered out and just uh, end up with a pile of silver powder. Okay, so first we're going to try to get all the silver crystal off our copper and pick all the rest of the copper out of there. And uh, then we're going to get this filtered. I got my Buckner funnel back and I've got two coffee filters in it again. And we're just going to pour it through and let it drain and uh, get all that powder out of there. Get it nice and cleaned up. All right, let's get started. Okay, I diluted my liquid a little bit. I'm gonna try to get some of that green copper color that's sticking to the silver to get this cleaned up real nice. Okay, we're getting kind of full. So I'm gonna move my button of funnel over and get this finished up. Okay, well this finished filtering, I just cleaned up my large beaker with distilled water. I'm going to go ahead and pour this back in. Okay, our silver is just about done filtering out. Uh, I'm going to rinse this out really good to get any of that green stuff left over from the copper off. And then we should be left with pure silver. Uh, so what a lot of you might be thinking now is, well, what about all that copper that's in solution now? Well, we're going to be getting that out also. Uh, before I start that reaction, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let this finish so I can get all of our liquid back in here. And then I'll show you how to do that. All right, you can see we ended up with a whole lot of muddy silver there. It's really pretty. So once this is completely dry, I'm going to take it out, melt this down into a nice bar, and we'll see what we get. Okay, it's pretty much done filtering, so we're just going to take this out. I'm going to put it in my corningware bowl overnight, and I'll let it dry out so tomorrow we can have a nice fine powder. And I'm going to show you how to get the copper out of here. Yeah, look at that. It's a whole lot of pure silver. Okay, we've just cemented out our silver using copper. So now, if we go back to our reactivity series of metals, so all we got to do if we want to get the copper out of here, so we just keep going to the more reactive metals. So right now, so I don't have any lead, I don't have any tin, so we're going to have to use iron for this one. Uh, so what I got is a piece of steel. So steel is made of iron and carbon. So once we put this in, the uh, copper should react and crystallize into a copper powder and then the steel will start to go into solution. All right, so I'm gonna stick this in and let this react overnight. Uh, my liquid is getting really full right now, so I'm gonna have to be very careful with this. So, uh, all right. Okay, just gonna ease it down in there, just like the copper. This should start to react after a little while. Okay, as you can see, the steel is already starting to react. 
and the copper should start to cement out. So I'll show you how it looks again this time tomorrow. Okay, we're back everybody. So uh, the copper's been sitting for about three days. As you can see, our piece of steel here is just covered in copper. And there's a whole lot of sediment on the bottom, so we're going to see how much copper we actually retrieved out of this. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and dump this into my five gallon waste bucket. Uh, I'm not going to be trying to get the iron out of it. Uh, it's just really a waste of time. So we got our silver in our furnace. Uh, we got the furnace up to about 1,000 degrees Celsius, which is about 1,850 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the melting point of silver is about 1,763 degrees, but we should be good to go. First thing I'm gonna do is heat up my mold. So we try to get a nice clean pour, and then we'll pour it in and see what kind of bar we get. Actually cools pretty fast, so let's see. Wow. So as you can see, we ended up with some very pretty metals. Uh, I remelted the gold a couple times because I didn't like the way it originally came out. But uh, we ended up with a nice gold bar, silver bar, and copper bar with all that. So I plan to do this again, and I uh, hope to do it in the summer. And uh, I just hope you guys like the video. All right, thanks a lot for watching.